What's up guys, this is Barnman2205 and welcome back to the Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke Challenge. If you remember from the previous episode, I was a bit of a dunce and I forgot to record... <laughs> well, I forgot to plug my microphone in, so I am recording this uh, post video and uh, <clears throat> I'm still not using the webcam because I'm still i still under the weather and I really don't want bright lights in my face. And here is a Tangler and that is our route... What is this, Route 21? I think? Yeah. Yeah, it's our Route 21 encounter. Uh, so we body slam the Tangler, and then it gets paralyzed, and that's, that's, that's a beautiful thing. And then I'm like, oh, that's right, I'm a water type. Oops. And so we switch, we switch to, uh, to Shawnee. So basically what this episode is, is that we are going to be heading down towards Cinnabar Island. Uh, that's basically the gist of this episode. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy going on. Well, maybe there is. Spoilers! Oh, maybe, maybe you should stay tuned and find out. Uh, but you know, there's some, there's some, there's a, there's a new encounter later as well. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, anyway, we catch the Tangler. <clears throat> And uh, I struggled to come up with a name for it at first. The whole body is swathed in wide vines that are similar to seaweed. The vines sway as it walks. Um, although I do eventually come up with something. Uh, although it takes me a bit. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Because, I mean, look, we're at the stage of the game now where the encounters don't really matter that much. Uh, we kind of have, like, the team. And uh, like I said in the previous episode, I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like this is the team that we're, we're going to be going into the Elite Four with. There aren't really any tough fights coming up. Um, who knows though? Who knows? I mean, we could get to we could get to Giovanni, and he could be like, "Thank everyone's dead," <clears throat> and uh, that would not be fun. Anyway, we head back uh, to Mom's house just so we can heal up. Uh, and she's like, Thrill House, you should take a rest, dear boy. And that's exactly what we do. Oh, good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. And I'm like, thanks, Mom. Whatever, Mom. Ew. Uh, yeah. And then we hop back in the water. This whole recording after, after the fact thing, I know I mentioned this last time that I did it, but it is actually really hard, because, um... <clears throat> You know, when, when things are happening, it's much more natural to sort of talk about them as they're happening. But like, this is, this is post happening, and I'm not focused so much on playing, I'm focusing entirely on talking, and I'm very, very conscious. Uh, anyway, this is the part where I start teaching some TMs to Nesta. <clears throat> so we're gonna put Thunder on Nesta. And I know it probably makes more sense to put it on Jaren, because, you know, he's the electric type. Um, but there is a reason we're putting it on Nesta. Basically, Nesta, and spoilers, we're going to teach it Rain Dance as well. Uh, Nesta with uh, Ice Beam, Surf, Rain Dance, and Thunder is an absolute beast in the Elite Four. Um, just those moves, like, it can handle a lot of stuff. Um, especially Lance and Lorelei, which is, you know, the main problems that we have. Anyway, now we're gonna teach Rain Dance to Nesta. We're gonna bless the rains down in Kanto. Oh yeah. I bless the rains down in Africa. And we get rid of Body Slam, because uh, <clears throat> Nesta's physical attack is not that great anyway. Um, so, you know, whatevs. I got a big haul! Wanna go for it? It's me, David Lynch! Hello! Um, do you guys still have any idea who he is? Probably not. I know I've we've been over this several times. Anyway, oh yes, this is the six Magikarp guy. <clears throat> There's one in every game, and I don't understand, like, usually they're pretty early in the game, and it's like, oh yeah, six Magikarp. Nice little break from things, but he's, like, towards the end of the game. It's just this dude with six Magikarp. Like, how is this a challenge at this point in the game? And they're all level 27 <clears throat> excuse me and it's like you know i mean did he catch them all at level 27 has he actually trained them all up to level 27 how did he even do that with a team of six magikarp it makes no sense i don't understand i don't get what he aims to accomplish 
Unless he's doing some crazy challenge that people do, where he's like, I'm gonna beat the game with a team of six Magikarp, oh yeah! <clears throat> I mean, some people try it. I saw a guy try, um, play the original Red and Blue with just a Magikarp, and it was going so well, uh, until he got to the Pokemon Tower. <laughs> And then, like, the only attacks Magikarp has is, is Struggle, uh, and Tackle, and Splash, of course. And they're normal type moves, and that doesn't work on Ghosts, uh, cause it's Gen 1, and Struggle is still very much a normal type move. So he's like, well, well that's it, oh, oh, it's game over. Um, I've seen them, like, people do games with Ditto, and, like, a, a team of Smeagles, and, I've seen all kinds of ridiculous challenges that people try. It's, you know, people are, people are cray. Uh, anyway, we, we kill this, this Magikarp, we just surf it to death. It's not very effective, but it's okay. Fisherman Wade. Heh, Magikarp just don't make the grade, do they, friend? Oh, man. And then we're gonna, we're gonna surf over to this other fisherman here. And we're gonna fight him too. You want to know if the fish are biting? I do. I very much would like to know that. Tell me, David Lynch, tell me! Fisherman Ronald and the Sea King. The Sea King are kind of a pain in the butt. They're surprisingly bulky. Uh, like, even with thunder. Um, so we go for... Bless the rains down in Africa, and uh, then we, and it, it, it always opens with water sport, every single time, and I don't understand why. Like, even when we, you know, minor spoilers, when we kill it and he sends out more seeking and stuff, they also open with water sport. It's so weird, and it makes zero sense, and I don't understand it at all. I really don't. Um, Anyway, and yeah, like, you, you hit it with one thunder, and it still isn't even enough to KO it in one shot. Admittedly, Nesta is three levels lower. Also, the eyes. When the thunder hits, you've got to watch the eyes. It is, it is so creepy. Um, and anyway. Also, occasionally they use supersonic, and it's, it's really, really annoying. This is just a Goldeen, though. This one dies pretty quickly. Goldeen, Goldeen. The rain continues to fall down in Africa. Yeah, like, the, the Goldeen uses supersonic, and now Nest is confused, and it's a whole great big thing. It's such a pain in the butt. Oh, man. Hit myself with confusion. The, the rain falls in Africa. And look! Water sport! Why? I'm not even using a fire-type Pokémon. Why would I use a Fire-type Pokémon against a Goldeen? But even if I opened with a Fire-type Pokémon and it's like, Oh, well, in case it stays out, I should use the Water Sport. Like, no! I have a Lapras out. Like, what... What does it think I'm gonna do? I just... I don't understand. I don't understand the logic. It's very confusing to me. I have a very difficult time keeping up with it all. Very difficult time. Nest is still confused. And it hurts itself again. And I'm just... I'm just devastated at this point, you know? It's just so sad. It uses Water Sport again. I'm so confused. It almost looks like it's crying. In fact, it's not- no, it's not crying. You know what it looks like? You know what it looks like? And pardon the, the vulgar- with the graphic imagery, but it kind of looks like it's peeing. It's just like all over the place. Oh my goodness, I never noticed that before. When it attacks... When it used Horn Attack, it's eye. Like, it switched to an angry face. I've never seen that before. Also, Jaren gets the quit. The, the quit! Yeah, when gets the quit, it knocks it out in good heat. Ew, do they? Uh, yeah, it used horn attack and it had like a little angry eyeball. I've never seen that before. The things you notice when you're not, when you don't have to divide your attention between playing and talking, you can just, you can just watch. Now Nest is confused again because Seeking is a jerk. But we hit it with Thunder anyway. And all is well. And look, it's still not enough to hit it. It's a high damage roll, but not high enough. Goes for water sport again. Well, it's just like peeing everywhere. Like, Wee! Nest is confused. But it uses thunder. But then thunder misses, because it's not raining anymore. <laughs> yeah, it did it again! That's so crazy. I've never noticed that before. 
That's insane. Anesta just hurts itself. And at this point, I'm like, screw it. Jaren. Just get out of here, Jaren. Get out of here and kill this flippin' Sea King. It uses Flail. And, you know, now it's about to die. Die, Seeking, die! Foolish fool! Fisherman Ronald, dang! And I think at this point, I go back and heal? Yes, I do. So I'll see you guys shortly. Okie dokie, we come back, I accidentally jump on this piece of land here, and I'm like, oh, that was dumb. And then we get into a, oh yeah, that's really dumb. I accidentally press left instead of down, and I just go back onto the land, and it's like, well, oh, that was stupid. Uh, and then I, I get into a double battle with Lil and Ian. Oh my goodness, Lillian. Wow. I, did, I don't think I noticed, I, no, I did not notice that before. I wonder if that's intentional, Lillian, or if it's it's just a just a coincidence that Lil and Ian spell Lillian. And Magic Karen intimidates these these beautiful boys. Uh, well, boy, and uh, Stami does not have a gender. It does not identify with a gender. Uh, Stami is incredibly progressive. Uh, it's you know way back then. It's like gender, nah, doesn't matter. Does not even matter. Nesta uses Rain Dance. Set up them rains. And now Nesta's just gonna thunder this Seedra and knock it out real good. And Magikaran's gonna go for another bite. And we clean this up in two turns. It's quite beautiful. Or do we? I mean, we haven't hit the Seedra yet. You know what we do? We do. We clean it up. Spoilers. This is the tricky part, when you know what's gonna happen, it sort of kills the suspense. Like, I sort of have to make an effort to make sure that I don't spoil things, but I'm like, yeah, nope, this, yep, nope, nope, mm uh hmm Yep, see, it dies. It dies and it's beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. Lillian is defeated, and everything is right with the world. Jump back into the water here. It's weird, I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk too much, but I don't wanna go quiet, because then it's like, he stopped talking, is everything okay? The sea cleanses my body and soul. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Spence. Another Seedra, and I'm like, you know what? I know I can kill these things. But dang, smoke screen. I mean, Thunder, as it is, is not the most accurate of moves, and yet, for some reason, I keep trying it anyway. Because I'm like, yeah, I can, I can hit it, I can hit it. And then I'm like, I, I think I go one more. And I'm like, I can, I can still hit it. And then I do, somehow. Which is pretty impressive. He's super effective. And a Tentacruel. And we bless the rains. Oh, bless the rain. The rain continues to fall. And it uses bubble beam, which is beautiful. Because Nesta has Volt Absorb. Which heals it when it gets hit by water moves. And it is a very bulky tentacruel, and I'm like, oh, that that. I mean, I expected it to take at least two hits, but... Well, I, I thought it was going to take two hits, but it, it ends up taking three. Um, I mean, like, it barely takes three as well. Because Tentacruel is a bulky son of a gun. And it keeps using acid, and it's, it's, it's not fun. It's not a fun thing to fight. Uh, tell you what, though, I'm, I'm a... I forget whether I've mentioned this or not, but I'm trying a, uh, a, a water-type mono challenge on Pokemon Crystal. And Tentacool is a huge pain in the butt, because the rival... Obviously, I, I started with Totodile. 
uh, and the rival um, has has Bayleaf, uh, which you know when you're using all these all these water Pokemon is a huge pain in the butt. So I ended up picking a, a to um, Tentacool. Uh, oh, also side note, I decided I'm gonna to skip all these guys and go back to town and heal in the town instead of going all the way back to my mom's house. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, so I go with Tentacool because being part poison, I'm like, oh, well, he can he can resist stuff, which will come in handy. Um, but he has, like, no offensive moves. And that, that first rival fight um, after Azalea Town, when you, when you beat Bugsy, um, was so bad. And I had to get really lucky um, that with poisoning it quickly and then basically just spamming heals while it uses Razor Leaf. Because uh, the Razor Leaf would just one shot every single one of my other Pokemon because they're all basically just water types. Uh, or in the case of Wooper, it's a water ground type. And that was. That was just nasty. Uh, so, yeah, I really. Really relying on Tentacle. Although finally I've made it into, into the forest. Uh, was it like the Elex Forest or whatever? And I found. Um, uh, Headbutt. And I finally taught Headbutt to Tentacle. Because before that, it knows, like, Poison Sting, Constrict. Um, like, it doesn't even have, like, Bubble or anything. It's just rocking these terrible, terrible moves. And I finally taught it Headbutt, so it actually has a decent um, offensive move now. Which is good. Um, anyway. Uh, we're finding the Staryu. I would actually, I would like to do a, a monotype challenge on the channel, um, if that is something you guys would be interested in. Uh, I put a poll up on Facebook, like, last week, week before, being like, hey, um, for the next video, Pokemon or no Pokemon? And people want more Pokemon. Um, so it's a case of, like, do you guys want another Nuzlocke? Do, do you mind if I mix it up a bit? Like, we'll see. I'll put another poll up seeing what you guys think, but, you know, it's, uh, something to think about. Um, because we're, we're getting towards the end of, uh, of this challenge. You know, we've only got two gym leaders and then basically the Elite Four and then, you know, it's, that, that's it, really. Because this is red and blue, there's no ridiculous legendary boss fights that happened before, before the Elite Four. No, uh, no, no Giratinas or, or Necrozmas or, or anything like that that we have to deal with, so, you know, should be, uh, could be a, you know, close to the end. I, I, I forgot what I was saying. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know, a monotype is something I'd be interested in. In doing. Because uh, they're fun. And, and you, can, you can do some creative, some creative things. Like the whole uh, tentacle thing. You, like, you have to get real creative with how you tackle certain challenges. It's, it's fun. I enjoy it. Anyway, here's a Poliwell. Poliwell is another one when you use Thunder. Like, check out Poliwell's eyes. Like, they're already freaky enough as it is, but when the light changes uh, for Thunder, it is horrifying. And it uses Water Gun to heal me as well, but watch this. Watch its eyes. Isn't that just the most terrifying thing you have ever seen in your entire life? It's awful. It's, 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 whoa. Whoa. I tell you what. Ah, what a god. And here's a tentacle. Tentacool. Does anybody remember that episode of the anime with that monster of a tentacruel? Um, it's like way back in season one, and like he's attacking the city, and he 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 kidnaps me out, and somehow like telepathically communicates through me out. Since when was that a thing that tentacruel can do? Like it's just that one tentacruel did it. Like, I've, like, it has no psychic powers, as far as I'm aware. Uh, like, they can't learn any psychic moves. But for whatever reason, that one tentacle is like, nah, I'm just gonna, like, mind control this Meowth and, and talk through it. That's a, that's a thing that I can do. And I'm also, like, a ridiculous size. Just, sure, why not? Pokemon's weird, man. Some weird stuff goes on in that show. Some weird, weird stuff. Like, that, that one... <laughs> There's that band episode where Misty enters a beauty contest and Jesse and James also enter the beauty contest and James is walking around in a bikini with inflatable breasts. <laughs> and it's like, what? 
Uh, like it never it never aired um, in English. There's purely one for the Japanese, but it's it's funny. There's some, they, they do some weird stuff in that show. It's great. He caught his Pokemon at sea. That's that's beautiful. Um, how long is this episode? My God, it's all right. We're, we're getting close to the end. We're getting close. Here's a Stami. Set up the rain dance. Bless the rains. It uses Rapid Spin, which does like nothing. It does seven damage. Which is quite sad when you think about it. It is, it is quite sad. It uses Recover for some reason. And then I hit it with Thunder. And all is right with the world. Everything is okay. Uh, it only it only does half the damage though. Paralyzes it, but which is great. Paralyzes it. I'm kind of running out of things to talk about, except the things that are happening like right in front of me. It's it's so weird. I'll I'll, I'll stop bringing it up, but it is really weird doing this this post voiceover. Oh, I'm gonna go back and heal. Well, I'll see ya in a bit. Alrighty, we're back at it. And there's, what, two fishermen left? They go down pretty easily. Keep me company till I get a hit. Uh, I remember I, I saw a guy at work once, and he came in wearing a, a jumper with David Lynch on it. And I just responded, I, like, I just, I just said to him, I went, I like your jumper! And, and he thought it was hilarious. Um, well, he's dang seeking. I'm just over them, you know? They're just everywhere. At least this one didn't use Water Sport. Or did it? Actually, I think it did last turn. Dumb. It's so dumb. And it's still alive. It's just... Ugh. And I'm like, I'll just surf it. Tries to use Supersonic, and I'm like, nope. Don't do it. Don't do it, you fool! And a Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen, Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Where's Thunder? And the Goldeen is dead. It is so dead. It is so dead. Fisherman Nolan. That burned some time! And there's, what, one fisherman left that we got to fight? And then we're done with all the trainers. Hey, don't scare away the fish! Sozbra, Sozbra, Sozbra. Claude. And he uses a shelter. At least he's mixing it up, you know? He's using a shelter. He's not using another freaking Sea King or a Magikarp. It's something different. And I appreciate that. And he uses Aurora Beam, and I'm like, bruh, I'm a Water Ice type, what are you doing? What was that, like one damage? And it's a Shelder, who's like... Offensive capabilities aren't even that great. It's quite sad, really. Silly Shelder. And a Cloister. Oh, Cloister. It's so inappropriate. Uh, and it uses Protect, because it's super annoying like that. And protects itself against the thunder. With the thunder. With the thunder. Protects itself with the thunder. Only protects itself the once, though. And it's dead. And Nesta hitting level 31. He's catching up to the rest of the crew. And now he learns Ice Beam, which is beautiful. And now Nesta has his complete move pool, which is great. We do get rid of Confuse Ray, which is a little disappointing, but I don't need... It's a choice between that and Africa. And I'd rather bless the rains down in Africa, if you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, Mr. Sheen. And so with all of the, tra the, the trailers, we've watched every trailer on the route. Uh, with all of the trainers on this route defeated, we head back into town. 
Now, I did say that there was going to be one more encounter, and that is the truth. So we head over into the laboratory. And there's, there's numerous trades you can get. Remember, I'm not playing with gift claws, so I can only get the one thing. Uh, there's numerous trades you can get, or you can get fossils, and I decided to go with... Oh yeah, this guy. I'm a very important doctor. Here, I study rare Pokemon fossils all the time. I study. You, have you a fossil for me? Uh, I decided to give him the old Amber. Oh, that is old Amber. It is. It is a fossil of Aerodactyl, a Pokemon that is already extinct. Um, he's, like, is this guy supposed to be some sort of racist stereotype? So, hurry. Um, but yeah, I gave him the old ammo because I think Aerodactyl would sort of be the most fun to use. Between that or, um, uh, Kabuto. And I just walk around and there's, this guy tries to teach metronome. And I'm like, you know what? It's a Nuzlocke, I don't think I want to. And the scientist to the right is just trying to, he's, he's aiming for a fist bump. He's trying to fist bump anybody who will, who will fist bump him back. Oh my goodness, he's moved! He's not fist bumping anymore. And he's like, Eevee can evolve into one of three different kinds of Pokemon. Although that's not even true. Uh, at the time this game came out, it was five. Uh, although you couldn't actually get Espeon or Umbreon in this game because the day and night cycle is no longer a thing. I think you had to get it in, what was it, Colosseum? Um, or XD, Gales of Darkness, one of the two. You could get them in that and you'd have to trade them over. Too bad, too sad. Um, we also talked to this guy and he's like, We study Pokemon extensively every day. People office bring us rare Pokemon for the, the things. And I, I, didn't, I didn't see the whole thing. I didn't see it, but now we walk out of the building and we walk back in the building. And we're gonna walk in this room here. Are you looking for the Pokemon? I'm Honita. I want to trade it for my seal. Seal is actually pretty good. Um... You're late, where were you? Your fossil is back to life. It was Aerodactyl, like I think. Cool, bro. Cool. Uh, and we named the Aerodactyl... Terry. Terry the Pterodactyl. Well, he's an Aerodactyl, really, but, you know. It's a cute little name. Uh, and now all that is left to do is to head back to the PC. And, uh, check out the natures of the Pokemon I caught. Both this episode and the last episode, because we've got a couple of new friends. And, because I remembered that this bit was coming up, I already have my list open. Uh, like a good boy. Uh, so let's see. The Pokemon storage system. So we start off with Tentafool. Come on past me, just open it up. <laughs> he is quiet. Uh, which means he has good special attack and low speed. And I'm like, whatevs, I can work with that. Probably never going to use this thing anyway. And then... Also, he has liquid ooze, which is, which is interesting. And then eventually, I'll move over, there we go, Impish. Uh, good defense, low special attack, which is fine. It's fine. For a Magneton. Again, probably not going to use it anyway. As Magnet Ball. Sure thing. Then we go with Nottingham. Who is lonely. Who has good attack, low defense. Which is... Which is alright. It's alright. I can work with it. Uh, Chlorophyll, Razor Speed, and Sunshine. And then, finally, we have Terry. Uh, with a serious nature. Which I believe is balanced. Uh, yeah, it's a balanced nature. Has pressure. Uh, however, I then realized that Terry's only a level 5, and I'm like, oh, well, I'm probably not going to use it then, even if anything does happen to, like, Roxanne. Like, if anything would happen to Roxanne, I would have replaced it with Terry, but at level 5, I don't know that that's something that I want to do, to be honest. Um, but yeah, anyway, that does it for this episode of the Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke Challenge. Thank you so much, guys. The, the next episode, I've already recorded it and checked it. It has... <laughs> I turned the microphone on, so it'll be back to the normal format. Uh, sorry about that, guys, but thank you so much. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, subscribe, check out the playlist, uh, leave a like so I know you liked it. You know, all of that boring stuff. Keep it real, and keep it barn, man.
Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, if you think this challenge is cool, I tried a very similar challenge in Pokemon Sapphire version. That's a... Uh, that was pretty nuts. Uh, or how about you try a series about me flirting with virtual women? Uh, I don't know, my friend thinks it's pretty funny, so maybe you will too.